Can they hear that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, hey. folks. Emily, how are you? I, I greeted Dawn and uh, Megan earlier. Um, actually, I'm, I'm joined, uh, actually, full board. Uh, great clients here. Uh, Chan Paquette hey. is here. Our host is uh, Crystal Adams, and our uh, note taker, scribe, is Christine French. So, okay, uh, gentlemen, getting back to the agenda. Um, I just called the meeting to order at 4 p.m. Um, can we approve the minutes of June 3rd? Uh, a regular board of selectmen's meeting with all the specials, it's so unusual. Yeah, make a motion to approve the minutes of June 3rd, 2021, regular selectmen's meeting. All in agreement? Correction. That meeting was on Thursday, it says Friday. Okay. And in the first line, for, for sentence, um, the last portion says members of the board of selecting participating in the meeting via Zoom online. We were all here. No, no, no. The, the selectman's meeting was Zoom. Right. We were here. But because it says, Zoom. the next line, it says present. Swan, Klein, and Paquette. Yeah, right. I read that and give me the impression that we participated by Zoom. It, it was a Zoom meeting. Other people could see it on Zoom. We were here, okay. No, I understand. Look at, look at who was present right there. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, uh, we'll change the date. In our we'll change the date. Uh, okay, thank change you. Change the day, not the date. All right. Thursday. All in favor? All in Aye. favor? Aye, unanimous. Thank you. Um, okay, I believe this is in your packets. Uh, we had an application from Seth Spaulding uh, for a position as selectman. Uh, he was interviewed. Constable. Yeah, he's a smart guy. He would go for a uh, constable. Why he would want to be selectman, I have no idea. That's editorializing and I will move on. Anyway. Uh, to be constable, uh, most folks know him, terrific guy. I also have a uh, email from Stuart Morris, chief constable that interviewed him on June 16th uh, and said, no, it was earlier than the 16th. Anyway, he said after conducting an interview with constable position, he recommends Seth Spalling to be approved to fill that position. So um, we don't have to approve it. It's just, you know, FYI, okay. so. You can consider it. Now, since we brought up Mr. Morse's name on the agenda, I would like you to consider the reappointment of Stu Morse as a full member of WPCA for the term beginning June 20th, uh, 2021 through June 19th, 2026. So Second. Okay, all in agreement, great. Can I go back to this one thing here? This, this term for Seth Spaulding, it's June 17th of this year through November of this year? Yes, and then at November, everybody's reappointed. Gotcha. They got a letter, you know, would you like to be right. reappointed? Right. Okay. So yeah, but he came in later. Um, gotcha. Okay, and then, okay. Um, this is tax rebate. We went through this last year, it's an annual thing. Um, I'm just going to, it's tax rebates for dairy farms and fruit orchards. Um, we did it a year ago. Um, I can't give you the date, but anyway, it was last June. Uh, for this year, um, the tax abatements for dairy farms and fruit orchards is $10,336.39. And for what it's worth, last year, it was $9,991.06. And that's it. You do have a copy of the reports. Okay. $9,931.06. Uh, that was last year. This year, it's the first figure I gave you. So, um, I don't know. Do I hear a motion? So moved. Okay. It's part of the uh, 
right to farm ordinance. It's promoting yep. agriculture. Yep. Therefore, I'm in full favor. Okay. I said. Okay, and I also so unanimous. Thank you. Um, consider adopting a resolution for a local bridge program. This is a little bit um, more, I won't say complicated, but we, as you know, are doing four bridges in town and we had to get funding. Um, they're gonna have to be bonded. We have to go out to bid. You know, it's a whole long process. We've been in touch with a number of engineers um, in the packet that you have on that sheet, we today have to resolve that. I, uh, Jay Swan, first selectman, uh, town of Woodstock, I'm authorized on behalf of the town to sign the local bridge program supplemental application and any associated agreements between the state of Connecticut, town of Woodstock. This particular one is for the Peak Brook Road over the Peak Brook. And it's bridge number uh, 169017. Uh, so I need your authorization to sign on behalf of the town. I'm in favor. I have a question. Is, is that spelled correctly? P E A K? Yes, -A because if you use with the word peak, first time you use it, you spell it with an E. Second time, you don't repeat the E. -A -E, uh, e. We'll correct I've it before I that. sign I've it. Never heard that. <laughs> Okay, what do we got? Tax rebates. So I, so I agree and second it when we are. Thank you. Animals. I appreciate it. You guys are very kind, too kind to me. I don't deserve it, but you're too kind. Okay, under tax rebates, this is a double payment of real estate taxes, and the payments are to CoreLogic Real Estate Tax Service, which means that they paid it on behalf of a family. And it's four different amounts for four different um, rebates, if you will, uh, in the amount of $1,373.23. The second one is for $797.47. The third one is $2,209.90. And the last one is $1,100.05. So agreement to give the tax rebate is, is question is, is this for one property or four different properties? I assume, and I know what it's like to assume, Greg, I assume it's for four different properties because it's four different amounts right. because if it was for one property, okay. it would be one amount for the total of these. Okay. okay. I will second that. All right. Okay. Correspondence and announcements. Boy. Have I got correspondence? Uh, we have a thank you letter. And actually, um, Crystal, I'd like to ask if you could post this on a town website or Facebook page. It's uh, to the residents of town of Woodstock, and it's from Teague. And uh, it's basically, they want to thank us for our continued and generous support to their programs. This is primarily through the uh, food that we collect at various uh, town meetings, um, elections, uh, and even just the front of the building. Anybody coming in is welcome to leave things out front. When we have a, a good size amount, we call Teague and say, we have a load, come pick it up. Uh, anyway, uh, Ann Miller, the executive director said, Woodstock rocks. You are all a constant presence in the support given to our community, our sincere thanks. And she listed what it was since January of this year. Uh, there's been 303 assorted items, food items, canned vegetables, protein, pasta, snacks, personal care items, uh, canned soup, tuna, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, 303. So nice to be recognized. And uh, Crystal, we can add that to the website. Uh, let's see. First selectman, Jay Swanner, Roger Gale, WPCA chair. Uh, Tina LaJoy, Zoning Enforcement Officer. Uh, this is a letter of resignation from Cynthia Brown, who's been with us a number of years. Um, she's gonna be leaving a, a position that she's done a number of things, and we've been fortunate to have her. Um, Administrative Assistant in Planning and Zoning and Inland Wetlands Department. 
Recording Secretary for Boards and Commissions, Executive Administrator for the Water Pollution Control Authority. Uh, this is effective June 30th of this year. She has enjoyed her time working at Town Hall um, and she feels fortunate to have had the opportunity to work with wonderful people. Um, she wishes us all the best also uh, in our development of the land use uh, department, which is moving forward. So, um, so she will no longer, she's no longer interested in moving up to that position. No. So we're back to square one and we've already put advertising out for that position. What is that position called? The, the land use? Land use. It's land use. It's right. zoning in, in the wetlands. Clerk or director or? No, it's not gonna be director. Um, we'll decide, depends on the person that we get. Okay. Um, okay, next I've got, this goes back and I'm not gonna, I don't know if you have copies or not, it's okay. This goes back to November of 2019. Uh, this is from Rebecca Hyde, who's the secretary of the Woodstock Agriculture Commission. Um, and before that, it goes back even further where um, they wanted to change an ordinance. I'm sorry, it goes back December 2018, and it was to refer to the Board of Selectmen um, to replace the current uh, tax abatement for dairy farms and fruit orchards, expanding it to include all farming activities allowed by the reference state statute. Anyway, um, it was put on hold back in 2018. Um, it was sent to us back down in last November 19. And at that point, we were dealing with a whole number of things. And uh, then we had COVID, which changed our lives immensely. Um, and it just recently came in and um, the Rebecca, on behalf of the Ag Commission, just wanted to remind us, and she said that it had been uh, with the town attorney in the past, and they just they just want to remind us we you know we would like to have some action on this. So you've got the details. You can read it at your leisure. This is something I certainly would pursue on their behalf with the town attorney. And one of the things um, that Crystal is working on now, we have a number of things that we have to address through a town meeting, right. which we have not done. And last year we were fortunate under executive orders, we were able to do a budget. There's a number of things that normally go to a town meeting. We could do it under executive order. This is not one of them. So uh, Crystal has a, a list of things. And at some point we're gonna schedule a town meeting. Um, and there are some other ordinances that are involved. And you, you gentlemen would know about it before we even go down that road on what they are. That includes the building office fees. Build fees, yeah. yeah. In fact, that came in a conversation today. I remember the discussion on this because I remember the issue about lobster business. Yes. And they said yeah. it's not likely to have that up here, but you know, you never know what's never going know. on in Muddy Brook. Yeah. Yeah, that's well, true. You, have, you have huge tanks. Right. Uh, let's see. I also have, this is June 10th. Um, I've got the periodic, I will say, uh, report from Troop D State Police, uh, Captain Charlin. Um, basically, he said for the month of May, um, accidents there were four, investigations 12, no burglaries, no larcenies, 79 non reportable matters, uh, zero DUIs. Uh, two traffic citations and two written warnings. Question. Yes. Would you, would you, would you, uh, selectman, like to receive um, a similar report to this from the from the fire department or the fire protection association? No. Okay. Because I'm not going to do anything with it. Right. Just and point. the only thing is, right. it would be shared at one of these meetings. Yeah. And yeah. But thank and you. Typically, we get an annual report on those numbers yeah, yeah. during budget season. Right. I was just thinking maybe you could go on the website. Okay, um, this is announcements. Uh, this is raise the barn ribbon cutting. Uh, this is for Northeast Placement Services. 
uh, they are almost done with the process um, with getting proper permits, et cetera, et cetera. Anyway, tomorrow they're doing a ribbon cutting at quarter of 12. Um, and uh, a number of people, it's open to the public, a number of people are going. I will be there. Um, and they're just finishing up housekeeping issues uh, at the very end. Um, the barn for? The barn is going to be for storage. Um, there are crews, yeah, there are crews that do landscaping. It's storage for the equipment, but it's also in the off season when they're not doing landscaping, there's going to be training programs going on there for those folks. Good size barn. Yeah. Is it behind the post office and stuff? Yeah. No, no. Right it's, isn't it just far left? Isn't it facing the. It's behind. It is behind. Yeah. Okay. Built that little the driveway. Laneway in between. Yeah. Oh. And right. it's up on the right behind. Okay. Uh, let's see. Books on Wheels, Teagues, Youth Programs Team. They're excited to announce um, on June 19th of this year. Uh, they're going to be at the Woodstock Town Hall uh, from 11:30 to 12:30. They're also going to be at, in North Groverdale, and they'll be at Pomfret Community School the same day, various times. Uh, this information is going to be on our website and on our Facebook page. Um, we have a very good relationship with Teague. Um, this, for some of us, this may be what you may remember is uh, bookmobiles, where books went out to rural areas and suburbs and stuff. Um, any of you that own dogs, uh, don't forget to license your dog. Um, this is for uh, June. Every dog six months or older must be licensed annually during the month of June per Connecticut general statute. If it's spayed or neutered, it's eight bucks. If it hasn't been, it's 19. There's a penalty of a dollar per month will be charged after June 20th. You got to bring a proof of rabies vaccination. July 1st. Oh, okay. July 1st. So those of you that were panicked about penalties after June 30th, you got another day of grace. Uh, you can renew online from June 1st to August, August 31st. Good to know. And as a reminder to the people that are listening in with dogs, if you got to have a, you need to produce a uh, current rabies vaccination shot. Yeah, I, I said that. Did you say that? Oh, yeah. I missed that. Because it says. But Jim, when you're reading that, you said June 20th. That's why I corrected you. No, no, June 20th is okay because that's what it says. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. But I'm, thank you. <laughs> and I did read. Um, Let's see, right here, Penalt right there. Rabies yeah. vaccine? Yeah. I heard you read, I heard you read that, but I didn't hear you. Well, you stopped that. paying attention when I got to the period. I continue. <laughs> you know, you guys that are sitting at home in the comfort of your own homes, you think this is easy, right? I just, no, I just want to point that out to you. Anyway. Um, Teague Mobile Food Pantry, June 22nd, will be at Woodstock Town Hall. And they'll be here from uh, 1 to 2 in the afternoon. And that's, that's a regular. We have the regular folks that stop by. They will be here. Now, in trying to be proactive and trying to, since we're popular, we're trying to, while the Teague Mobile Pantry is here, those of you that have not gotten your COVID shots, we are going to have Northeast District Department of Health here the same day, the same day. Uh, it's going to be Tuesday, the 22nd. They will be here from 1 to 2. They're going to give the Pfizer for ages 12 and up. And they have Johnson & Johnson ages 18, and that's the one dose. Uh, we're going to be advertising this. Walk-ins are welcome. It's free to all. No appointment. No insurance. Um, and that's you know you're good to go. Um, that is it. Believe it or not. Now agenda. Let's see. Correspondence. I did. Announcements. I did. Public comments. Does anyone have any public comments? Don, Megan, Emily, no? 
No, I'm all set, Jay. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. Public other from committee. This for the folks in the comfort of your own homes. This always makes me nervous. All right, but I'm still. It's on the agenda. If you notice the agenda, so I got to ask. So any anything else, gentlemen, from the committee? I would just like to uh, mention the terrible fire that happened at the Reynolds home on 169. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's it's a it's fantastic that it got out alive. It was very close. It could have been tragic. Uh, it's also the terrible loss of a very historic piece of property in, here in town. Uh, but there's been a GoFundMe page brought up on Facebook on their behalf. And the response from people here in town has been overwhelming. There are over $35,000 in pledges. Um, and I'm sure they're going to hit 40 before long. Um, Lori was very heavy into the animal rescue program. And last night at the Thompson Speedway, that group was there running the concession stand and all tips across the board went directly to the Reynolds family. So I just wanted to shout out to the people that helped out those in need. Very nice to live in a community that's like that. Good. I noticed that uh, from last night at the Speedway with the races, but you know, I'm preaching in the choir with, with Emily and, and Dawn and Megan. Um, Woodstock is very uh, responsive to the needs of its citizens. And anytime there's an emergency or something or tragedy happens, everybody pulls together and, and responds. So I will, uh, I believe this will continue. Um, I had a call from somebody I know that lives in Weathersfield, grew up in Woodstock that asked about it, uh, and was offering furniture, you know, this sort of thing. And as Chan and I have talked about it, um, the family, they've lost everything. And uh, now it's a matter of figuring out where are they gonna live you know, uh, they, they have no clothes, they have nothing. So everybody is being very responsive and it's, it, it will continue. Um, so anyway, anything else, sir? Well, thank you for mentioning that, I, Greg. I have a couple things. Yes. Um, this Saturday at um, Putnam Middle School, there will be a food share, food giveaway. They have 1,300 boxes of produce coming. Um, and, and it um, starts at 9 a.m. at the Putnam Middle School off of Wicker um, Street. Sponsor, my guys at the Veterans Coffee House. Everyone is eligible. If, even if you don't need it, go get it for some people who are in need. Make someone's day. That's a really, and they do this, I don't want to say every month, but they do it often. It's, it's they're frequent. Doing, they're doing it twice a month now. Yeah, Putnam. okay. Yeah, All right. they are. All right. Okay. And then I have something that I wanted to bring up to, to you guys um, last, last month, earlier, earlier this month, Suzanne and I took a trip up to Woodstock, Vermont, and we noticed the really attractive signage at the, at the entryway, entry points to the, to the, to the town, the, you know, the, the city. And, was, and it's really beautiful. And I was thinking that something like this not exactly like that, maybe, but there are ideas that we could either offer to suggest to the Economic Development Commission that they pursue something like that, or to the Beautification Committee like that, because it's like that, because it, it has flowers and everything around it, and, and signs down there could be said, sign sponsored by, put one down by Mackey's or WBA's new home, put one someplace else and in town, and I, I, you know, I just think it's so nice to see that and welcome to Woodstock. And, you know, this is a nice community, a welcoming community. Um, I think we need to tell that to people that are driving through. Okay. And maybe the website could be posted and a sign under underneath that sign or something like that, where you could get all the calendar stuff. Okay. I don't know what you want to do. If you want to think about it, you want to send a letter to the Economic Development Commission or Beautification committee sitting right here. Yeah. Woodstock Business Association may be able to help too, Greg. Okay. Okay. So where do we go from here? Well, um, I would like to thank you. Yeah. Um, I think it's a nice consideration. And uh, as nice as it is, 
this for this board, I'm not sure it would be a priority at this time. However, I don't think it's something that we should do. I think it's something we should recommend to the Woodstock business community. It, well, it's okay. seriously, it's something we could talk about, yeah. Yeah. but then it's who to approach yeah. and who to, you yeah. know, and say, hey, would you like to do this? Or, who you know, charge. okay. All right. Um, anything else from committee or from the public? Any, nothing? Okay, um, at, oh, shoot, I've gone over. At uh, four, whatever time we have, uh, at 425, I'd entertain a motion to uh, adjourn. So moved. So moved, second, second, unanimous. Thank you all for attending from home, appreciate it. And uh, enjoy your weekends.